Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of my Rogue Tech Cold Forge series. Now, I'm actually recording this on the 27th of November. This is when the new Flashpoint has been released. Uh, I was able to back up my Rogue Tech folder and just install Flashpoint on its own drive. I'm running Steam offline right now and playing Rogue Tech, which is how I got around the issue with, of course, Rogue Tech not working with the new Flashpoint. So today's episode, we talked about last episode updating a few of our mechs, and I wanted to do a build with the Thunderbolt 15. Unfortunately, I tried, if we go to the mech base really quick, I tried having a look at the Centurion, seeing how we could kind of wedge that in there. And unfortunately, it's not really an option. I mean, I'd have to pull out the AC-10, I'd have to pull out the LRM-10, and it, the mech really wouldn't be any better than really what it is right now. So I, in order to upgrade this mech, first thing we have to do is let's, we're going to go to, we, we, we picked up a couple of things. We picked up an ultralight gyro, some ferro, um, heavy uh, ferro, uh, some endo steel, um, so what we're going to do first is we're going to go back to the Jenner and we're going to kind of side grade this, I guess. It's not really going to be an upgrade, but it's going to allow us to work a little bit more on the Centurion. Uh, so this, since this mech is going to be staying at distance and not really engaging with anybody, I'm going to switch, switch out the extra light gyro here, which still gives us 40 stability with the ultra light gyro. And because this guy's not getting shot as much, um, the weight will remain the same. The reduction in tonnage will remain the same. It just he'll heal up. This uh, mech will have less stability. Not really worried about that. It's not getting shot a whole lot, so I'm, I'm kind of okay with that. So we're going to confirm really quick. Right. Then we're going to go over the Centurion. Uh, this is really the only mech that I really want to work on. Um, we're going to put, I think, the Endo Steel in the Phoenix Hawk in a minute. Um, I don't think we really need it in the uh, Firefly. But we're going to put it in the Phoenix Hawk. The Centurion's already got Endo Steel, but we are going to put the he Heavy Pharaoh in here. A and it will give us a bit more weight to work with. Uh, there are a couple things I wanted to work on with this mech. One is increasing the firepower, which I don't think is really going to happen today. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Let's get the Extra Light Gyro. Oh, we can't actually get the Extra Light Gyro in here. I forgot, because we've got the two medium lasers in the center. We'd have to pull a medium laser. Maybe we rethink this one then. Um, so we've got a lot of um, weight to work with now. Our heat efficiency has gone up um, because we pulled out a medium laser, but we're going to put in the weapon mount that we bought the other day. And that's going to give this AC a little bit more punch, I think. Uh, the double heat sink is a possibility, but we're going to leave it out for now. I think maybe what we do, uh, since we lost a little bit of damage potential here, so we have to pull out the medium laser. We don't really, I mean, we, we're going to have to go with um, something here. So I think maybe if we go to weapons, to, in order to replace the medium laser, I think maybe the SRM4. We can drop that in. We've got the weight for it. Our heat efficiency is dropping fast here. Um, drop some SRM. Actually, let's look to see if there's, uh, let's check the store, see if we have any accuracy ammo, or maybe even just a half load. Um, let's go to weapons and missile systems. SRM half load gives us what? 50 rounds for for an SRM4? Hell yeah. We can go that route, I think. No accuracy ammo, but we'll take the half load. New equipment available. There's no point, no point in putting 100 rounds in there when we're never going to use it. So let's put the half load in. And we're still, still got a fair bit. Let's, let's drop a heat sink in. Uh, I wish we had extra space. Unfortunately, we don't. So we can just drop a regular heat sink in. Give us a little bit more sinking. Not much, but, you know, a little bit more. And we've got a little bit of weight left over for some armor. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply it to the front. So we're going to go one, two, three, mm, yeah, four. Just to get a little bit of extra defense. And then maybe we can just put our... Uh, patchwork materials in as well. Fill up that last slot. So we got a little bit more armor here. So we go one, two, and then maybe some back armor. Just a little bit more. There we go. So I think that's what we'll do with this guy. Uh, a little bit more heat efficiency, uh, marginal, marginally more firepower, more accuracy, 
more armor so it's a little better overall than it was before so let's confirm this six days we didn't need as much funds as possible so um, someone's mentioned that um, you know perhaps selling stuff like uh, mech parts whether we sell full mechs to the store or we buy mech parts from the store things like that um, you know is can always be questionable because I mean if you know if all you have to do is take expensive mech parts and you can sell it and make some money um, if we go to the mech bays real quick so we're, we're down to only a few components my last series I didn't really sell components um, I think I sold a few but that was it uh, oh sorry let's go to storage I sold a few but but I didn't sell that many um, I think it was only was when I was in absolute dire straits I sold some so I think I'm gonna go back to that kind of play style um, I also kind of imposed the self-imposed rule that I wasn't allowed to pull mech salvage off the battlefield so I'm thinking maybe um, we'll see how it goes I think if we're all if we have parts to complete a mech I might pull salvage off the battlefield otherwise we might just go with regular components and see what we get I like the idea of not actually knowing what kind of mechs we're gonna get in our bay it's just gonna be random um, I mean the idea of a complete completing a catapult would be cool but you know unless we have you know tons of parts and an opportunity to do that I'm probably not going to do that um, we'll just let the chips kind of fall where they may and get what we can um, that way we'll have random max we'll just have to be forced to work with what we have uh, kind of makes it exciting makes it a little more difficult I think so we're going to continue along that route but that being said let's jump into a mission today right after we uh, get our mechs back and working again here and let's just go structural repairs updated now our Argo looks like a actually a half decent uh, ship that's actually um, space worthy here and we're going to have Hickory back in one day which is excellent so I think what I'm going to do if we go to the hiring hall here here well, yeah, we've already been through this hiring hall that's right last episode so we have no pilots there that we can use but we're going to sadly say goodbye to behemoth today because as I said from the very beginning I don't want to be running with the pilots that we got at the beginning which kind of had a bonus amount of experience yeah. so we're going to say goodbye to her today um, and we're down to our just our four main guys here so we'll see it thanks for the work behemoth but we'll see you later all right so here we are here's our lance now we're just going to quickly look through and see if there's anything we want to upgrade here before we go um pylon do we really need our tactics up probably yeah let's start bringing these other skills up i think on our other on our mech pilots so we get everything fours across the board i think is what we want to try and go for all right recoil let's go for piloting um yeah let's go for piloting on you actually you know what let's save it up and we'll go for gunnery when we get a chance and then cold metal let's get piloting at four here so we get that unsteady threshold and everything so let's confirm that okay so let's go to the command center I already, already have an idea what we're going to take today let's try something a little bit more exciting um, we're going to do some aggressive aggressive negotiations and this is an assassinate mission in the highlands um, so we're just uh, kind of posing as bandits going in and killing a, a Lyran diplomat so let's go and do this one today and I think probably we're going to go maximum salvage we have good cash flow right now so we're going to go good uh, we're going to keep going good salvage until we start to get short on currency and then we'll start you know bringing the pay scale up slightly more so let's go this way and let's oh wait we gotta get hickory in here so we're going to put her in the jenner now and recoil will stay in the, the firefly we want to have better gunnery on the on the, our jenner pirate i mean the other way to do it too would be to swap hickory and pylon but pylon's been piloting the phoenix hawk so we'll leave him there let's deploy and uh, get this done Alright, here we go. So there's our target over there. I have no idea what that is. Looks like a light mech to me. Find out soon enough. And let's see what kind of reserves we, reinforcements we have here. So we have guys back here. And guys here. So this is one of those assassinate missions. This particular map lends itself to hit and run. So we're going to position ourselves to do that, possibly, and get out of here. Maybe maximize the salvage off whatever mech this is, and then bug out. So our extraction point is right here. 
and all we need to do is move in and kill this guy fast enough before the reinforcements get in. These guys are lagging behind. These guys generally get here in a couple turns, so let's blast forward. I'm not going to even bother. Actually, you know what? Let's reserve back so we can all move. Let's get recoil moving forward. See if we can get some scouting going on up here. Still can't see him. I think it takes a turn to get to him before we can see him. So let's get Behemoth, or sorry, apologize. Sorry, Behemoth. Let's get Hickory over here. And Pylon, I actually kind of feel sad that we had to let Behemoth go, but uh, like I said before, this is what we intended on doing from the beginning, is starting off with fresh pilots, so that's what we're going to do. Stick to the plan, Stan. All right, so moving forward. Okay, I want to get within range of our... Uh, Thank you, Captain Obvious. Okay, so let's have a look around here. These guys are going to take at least three turns, four turns maybe to get here. So we'll see what happens. These guys didn't move very far. I don't think they really move until we engage. So let's reserve back. Holding for the right opportunity. I think they're, no, they're going to start moving. They're already moving. Yeah, so we're going to move in. Let's get recoil with eyes on first. If we can actually get eyes on. We can get Chevron on there. Okay, we're going to reserve after this, because I want to see if that mech up there actually moves. Okay, they're not going to move. Yeah. So let's get Hickory back here. There's no point in getting this guy in our Going visible sights, or, or us in his visible sights, that is. Order. And Pylon. We're going to move forward as far as we can. We want to be able to engage this guy next turn with everything we have. And cold metal, let's get down here. Because if I go up that hill, I won't I'll have to come around and get come down this way anyway. So, Because that is, although it doesn't look like it from that one side, this is kind of a cliff here, so we have to come around. I think this was the second or third map we played on in my first series. Alright, so this guy is a light mech. So, I'm going to reserve, see if he's actually going to move. Generally, once you engage this mech up here, they will, from this position anyway, move to the left. They're going to head over to where the other guys are. Yeah. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move forward, see if I can draw him out. Move forward with recoil, see if we can pull him out a little bit. Don't think he's going to want to engage though. Probably not. Alright, Hickory, let's move... Actually, let's save you. Yes, uh, I'm going to reserve, actually. He's reserved back, we're going to reserve back. Definitely not going to engage us, I don't think. Not in a light mech. Okay, what are they doing? These guys are moving back here. So they're getting closer. Alright, he was thinking about it. He's like, what do I do? Pirate Spain, what is that? I'm showing minor damage. Locust. Really? Does it have, what does it have? Endosteel, XL engine. Why would you want to put all that, a Guardian ECM, why would you want to put all that in a Locust? It's kind of like a waste of material, but whatever. All right, let's go Pylon. See if we can blow through this guy's armor in one shot here. Yeah, really hard to hit. Oh, we got one hit though. Now for bugging out, he's got to come over here, I think, to bug out. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Yep. So let's just walk forward with Hickory. And we're going to drop a couple of uh, Thunderbolts in this guy's butt. Oh, we got a CT hit on him. Good. Oh well. Behemoth would have hit. That's a sad thing to say, but... She probably would have got a hit on him, but no big deal. Alright, so let's go with this. I'm liking the AC chances to hit already. Normally we have a harder chance to hit with that than the the uh, medium lasers, so not really a good uh, test of this because, of course, 
this guy is super evasive and in the trees and ECM'd and all that stuff, so. Alright, let's see what happens here. They got, uh, they've got like at least eight other guys here coming up. So we're going to move forward. I don't want to move too fast. And we're going to fire everything on this guy. He's going to run, I think. I mean, I would. Okay, Hickory. Yeah. Let's keep walking forward. Heading out. I don't want you visible to the guys coming up behind. Firing a couple missiles. Let's hope we get one this time. Looks like one's coming in there. Yes, nice. Now that could have been a CT hit. And it was. Down to 20. All we gotta do is plink him with a medium laser. Well, if he's out of the woods, that's all it would take. Let's see what happens. Okay. So we're going to get to go before he will again. I got to see who we're going to put up against him first. I think we're going to use the Centurion first. Because I'm farther away. And then if he runs, we can engage him with the Phoenix Hawk. So it's four mechs over there. All lights. So there are some components that we could use out of those guys. Oh, what's this guy doing? Are you serious? He's gifting it to us. He's either really stupid or, or just wants to die. Let's just say it's really stupid and we're going to fire on him. Goodbye. Well, we can leave anytime we want now. So there's our escape point. So we're going to engage these guys. We've got some time before these other guys come in. We're going to engage the mechs over here, see what we're up against. So let's move forward. I want to see if we can get some more salvage out of this. That locust really isn't salvage. Um, yeah, we're just going to brace here. I'm not going to fire on this guy. Get our heat back. So you can see what I mean about this map being the easiest one. Just rush forward, kill this guy, and bail. It's it's easy money. So we're gonna reserve. Let's see what let's see what these guys do. They're gonna reserve too, eh? Uh um okay. Yeah. Forcing us to move. Let's see if we can see more than one guy here. We can see the back guy. Is this this is in the woods. Is it? No, it's not. This is, though. So let's sprint up here. And we're going to leave ourselves facing directly towards these guys. So what's this guy? Stinger. Oh, well. 18s, 23s. What's the hit on this guy? Even less. So let's just fire the Stinger. All weapons are go. We sprinted. We had to fire anyway, so. No biggie. Another mech. They're all light, so I mean, it's not really... I don't know if it's really worth our time to hang need? out here. So maybe we, we are going to pull back, I think, to the uh, extraction point. I don't know what we're going to get salvage-wise out of that guy, though. Because we did blow up his CT. Boom. You're dead. Wow. Mech destroyed. Okay, I take it back. Uh, maybe we'll be good in that mech. Okay, Pylon, let's move down here. Let's check out what this other guy is. Another wasp, looks like. Yep. We're gonna fire on him. Copy that. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to hit there. Alright, so Cold Metal's just gonna cover the retreat. I could pull up there and see what's up there, but uh, maybe I should. Let's move our way this way. Just gonna pull up like this. There's three guys up there so far. And 11 and 28. 13 and 25. Hmm. Let's multi-target. <laughs> Let's take the best chances to hit and see if we get anything. Oh my god, we actually hit him. I didn't even think that... I, didn't, I, was, I was sure that AC was going to miss. Do 
Dude, you're going to wish you just stayed at home today. Wow, that was a good shot. If we can make him unstable, we can kill him. Firestarter K. Now that's a chassis I could use. 35 tons. That's the large laser variant. Three chevrons. Not bad. You gotta run over your buddy's dead body there, guy. Maybe they're just angry now. Alright, we're back to the front now. Let's go with recoil first. And let's see. Let's pull back here. Gonna stay in the trees. Just gonna walk it back, get our stability back. We're gonna fire on this wasp. On this wasp, I think. Um, this guy's a little easier to hit, but I think if I hit this guy enough, I can make him unstable, and then maybe Hickory can finish him up. There's a couple of hits. Oh my god! Okay, or we can just kill him. That works too. Okay, well maybe I will stick around now. We're down to six. It's four on six. They're all lights. There's a good chance we could easily take these guys out. Let's finish up the two on yeah. this side first. Um, I think I want to move, though. I'm in a position where if they move forward, they can start seeing me. So I want to get some chevrons of evasion. We're just going to move over here. Confirm. Keep our torso turned so that they can't hit us from the back. Going to look at the fire starter, I think, for sure. Yeah, these guys have half armor too, right? So that's probably why they're dying so quickly. Ah, one hit, not bad. 47% chance, I expected at least one. Good to go. So we're going to move back over here. Let's get on this fire starter again. Get our, our stability back. We're going to fire everything. Firing. Full complement on enemy. And we're going to miss with everything. I meant to do that. We're just trying to shake them up, that's all we're doing. Trying to make them bail out. Yeah, that's it. Okay, no, this medium mech. Ooh. I could smell the plasma of that right underneath my nose there. Let's get down here so he can't see us. That went right under my nose. Okay, we're gonna fire everything on this guy. Oh, that AC. Nice. There goes the left, left torso. He should be unstable, I think. No, not quite yet. So I think we will take this these last two guys on the right. Unless they decide to run. Who's meleeing? Oh, the wasp is meleeing. Why would you do that? Oh, the fire starter! For 19 points, all that for 19. Sure, Bubba. That's up to you. Oh, his CT is majorly damaged too. I just caught a glimpse of that. Wasp coming in for an attack here. Side. Complete miss. I've got reflections turned on. It looks like there's more lasers firing than there actually is. Kind of uh, freaks me out. Okay, so we didn't hit the CT. We did hit this torso though. Doesn't have much left in the CT. What if we hit the other side torso here? Blows the other side apart. It's got his large laser in that side. So let's move Come recoil up. here. And we're going to shoot on this fire, fire starter on the side here. Maybe we can blow the side off of him. Um, nope. Phoenix Hawk can probably do that next turn, though. Uh, okay, so Hickory... Question is, do we shoot the... Um, I don't like that position. Let's move here. They have a better chance to see us, but if they did see us with our back, that would be a problem. Now I have a choice. I could take this guy out or try for the wasp. I think it's better to kill now faster than anything. So let's try and kill this guy. Come on, give me two hits. Give me any hits? Nothing? Damn. Damn, damn, damn. It's not the targeting systems that are janky. Okay, Locust. 
So we know we got a locust and a cicada on that side. Locust is not engaging. Spider, 5v. Not too worried about him. Medium laser version. Okay. We need to finish up the guys over there and get back here. So Hickory's going to move up on this hill next, I think. You can still see the sparks coming off the locust down here. Firestarter is... Okay. Oh, he did hit with the large laser, though. Alright, a little bit of payback coming up. Phoenix Hawk is the one with the most armor. So I need to get him in there. But I think I want to shoot this wasp in the back first. Play the back game with him. Man, really? You know what? No. I'm going to sick... Um, I'm going to sick recoil on him. I want to get the Phoenix Hawk Standing by. wheeled around over here. Like this. Roger that. And I'm going to shoot this guy in the back. Leave the small laser off. I'm going to fire everything else. Alright, so he's done. Tango down. Still got the Centurion to go. We're going to start engaging the other targets now on the left-hand side. We're going to leave Recoil and Hickory to... Uh, or sorry, uh, Recoil and um, Pylon to finish this guy up. So we're going to move back... I want to get my stability back. Don't want to use a lot of heat. So we're going to move over here. And we're going to engage the Cicada, I think. What's the chance on this guy? A little better with the medium and SRM. 30. A, little, a lot better with this guy. Let's multi-target. Let's go to the Cicada and this guy. A, A, B, and turned off. And fire. Oh, yes! That AC, nice. Ah, wasn't expecting much from the SRM4, but uh, we did get one hit in there, so that's good. Alright, see what they do here. Moving that guy first. That gives recoil a shot at that wasp. So that's the largest laser. What is this? A flea. With a lot of freaking weapons on it. That's crazy. Alright, so Hick Recoil, let's get up behind this guy. Let's play the back game. We want to be really close. Yeah, really great chances to hit. So let's not move too much farther than this. Firing everything straight in the back. Boom. Nicely done. Alright, so we're going to move the Phoenix Hawk now. Oh, they're pivoting. I was going to move the Phoenix Hawk up this way. And not fire, but um, I'm going to sprint down this way now, I think. Actually, you know what? Uh, let's get Hickory to a position where we can shoot on that. Let's just walk back here. Spider will be able to see her, but I'm not worried about that. We want to fire on the Cicada here. we got some good chances. One... Two. Nice leg hit. So that'll knock him back a turn. We do have cicada parts too, so that's kind of a bonus. Let's see what we get out of that anyway. We might pick up a couple more parts. Alright, barely any damage. They are wheeling. And we are going to move Pylon since he's overheating. We're going to move back this way. Get behind the hill. Just spin it over, turn our small laser back on. They can avoid us all they want, but it's not going to save them. And we're going to move... Um, we need to move... To a position, I think here. At distance, and we're going to fire on the Cicada. Going to aim for the torso, and let's leave the SRM4 off. And probably fire everything else. Or should we try for the leg? How much has it got left here? It's only got two in the torso. He's in the trees too, so he's going to take reduced damage. And this is where the PPC is, so let's fire on that torso. Yeah, we got the torso. Didn't get the kill. Oh, we got a head hit. Oh, no, that's for the torso. That's right. That's okay, though. The PPC's gone. He's only got a couple machine guns left, so we're okay there. It's really the fleet now we need to target with the large laser. 
All right, so he's just sitting there. So we're going to reserve. Um, maybe not. Can I get you to a point? Like, let's say here. 40% chance on the flea. 60 on this guy. Let's see if we can take the cicada out. Let's just remove him from the map board. Ooh, two hits. Nice. I wonder if we can uh, knock him over. Maybe if I plink him with the SRM4 to put him on the ground. Okay, I'm going to reserve recoil. I want to see where they uh, end up here before I move them. There's the spider. He's not doing anything. Okay, so we're going to go after. Going to come down here. Going to stay in the trees, probably here. Yeah, it's not really great chances to hit. But I want to engage these guys. I don't want the uh, locust coming around behind us. So we're going to fire everything on the locust. See if we can scare him back a little bit this way. Okay, where is this guy going? All I gotta do is plink him. So, I'm gonna use Vigilance this time. And I'm gonna move... Um, a little closer, I think. And then we're gonna multi-target. We're gonna fire against the cicada and the flea. The flea is going to take the AC and I think what I'll do is, yeah, the LRM I think will be all we need on it's only 37% chance to hit. Ah, oh, we've done it before. Okay, so yeah, and the LRM should be able to knock the cicada over, I think. I hope. There's the knockdown. We should be able to knock him out there. There's the right leg off the flea. So that one's, he's knocked out. Oh, the engine was destroyed too. Well, we might end up with some few cicada parts there. All right, let's get around here and prey on this flea now that he's on the ground. We're gonna put everything on him. Uh, we're gonna go for a CT shot because he doesn't have much. Let's leave the small laser off so we can fire more next turn. That should do it. Oh, not quite. Uh, he bailed. Dirtying up our loot table. Oh, someone's coming in for the melee attack. Uh, wrong side to do that from, buddy. Wrong side. I know you're staying in the woods, but... You do not want a couple of missiles in the back. Especially with no armor. Alright, Hickory. Here's another target for you right here. 40% all you need is one. Okay, Come on, give on me one good one. One good one. There's one. Not bad. Is he unsteady now? No, not quite. Oh, Dagger's gonna melee too. Oh, I keep calling him Daggers. The Locust is gonna melee. Ow! Okay, so we're gonna reserve recoil. I want to see what our other guys are capable of, capable of doing to the spider first. To see if we need to... Yeah, I can't... Can I get to the point where I can... I can see this, the spider from behind here. So let's do this. Turn the medium laser off. And fire... What's he got left here? Not much. So I'm going to go with this route, I think, this time. More chances to hit with the SRMs. There's 10, 4444, four, four, four. come on! Enemy well, he's unsteady. That should make it easy for pylon. Yeah, right of LRMs. Not at a point where we need more than that right now. We've just faced nine mechs and we, we just ran out right now, so. All right, pylon, we're gonna multi-target. We're gonna fire at him and him. And leave off one medium laser, and this will go to B, and two to A, just to make sure we kill him. That should do it. No? No? Really? No? 
Oh my god. We're hitting everywhere but where we Negative need to hit. Damage. He's got seven left. Really? Really? Ah, okay, let's play the back game with this guy. Yeah, we want to go after the Firefly. Or sorry, we want to go after the Locust. Let's fire everything. I'm getting every single name but the one that it actually is. Give him the whole nine yards, buddy. There we go. This Firefly, man, I'm not even touching it. This thing's doing so well. It's the just sheer volume of lasers. Comes a couple mediums. Okay, recall, this guy's all yours too. And yeah, let's go to his backside again. We should be able to finish him up now. Fire everything. That should do it. There we go. Nine up, nine down. So I was worried about it at the beginning, but not anymore. Mission successful. All right, increased by 35% contract payment. Excellent, 170,000. So that's better than I thought we'd get out of this. No component damage, really. We took a little bit of, like a few hits here or there, but not a whole lot. Fire is pretty awesome. All right, look at all the mech parts here. So, uh, as I said before, I'm going to kind of go back to my old... Look at all the S. Look at, look at this, crazy. I'm going to go back to my old way of doing things, I think. Taking the Guardian ECM for sure. Uh, Fusion Core for cash, probably. But let's see what else is down here. I don't think a lot. We didn't get much. Oh, double heat sinks. Well, hello there. What else do we got? Anything? No, lower arms, machine gun half loads. Hmm. Now we all of our guys have ECM. Be nice to have an extra one as backup just in case. The fusion core is really just cash at this point. So we don't really need that. There's only one cicada part left here. Um so let's take let's take a double heat sink. So flea and wasp part, no big deal. Machine gun, couple small lasers. Oh, we got a second double heat sink. Excellent. Nice. All right, locals took Harbin from Liao. All right, 15,000, not bad. Excellent. So what I want to do, once this Phoenix Hawk is back, is I want to have a look, because he's been having hard times with heat lately. So let's go to the mech bay before we finish this episode up, and let's have a look and see if I can jam in a couple double heat sinks here. It's cooling pod in there right now. Thinking we can probably lose the cooling pod and go with. Yeah, so we've got full heat sinks, right? So I can lose two regular heat sinks and then we can go with the two doubles that we just picked up, right? We've also got an extra one here. So what's the heat efficiency at right now? Oh, he can use the endo steel too. I forgot all about that. So let's drop that in. So we got an extra two tons, right? Um, let's, it would be much better if this guy's heat neutral. we got the Angel ECM in him right now. Reduce signature, reduce visibility and cover. Defense against being hit, evasion pips, maximum evasion. And what is this other one here, Guardian? Yeah, not quite as good. So we're going to leave the Angel in this guy. And then I think what we'll do is there are two tons left over. Let's add another double heat sink. So we, our heat efficiency should be really good right now. Yeah. So I'm going to pull out the heat sink cooling pod because I think we can probably use that elsewhere. Let's leave one of the heat sinks in there and then maybe drop another one in. Like leave the heat sinks in the legs. So we should be heat neutral. 54, 54. Perfect. So this guy is going to be far more effective now. So let's confirm this. So the only one we're having really heat major heat problems with is the Centurion. Now he's back in three days so let's have a look at that when he's back. If we can get that heat sink cooling pot in it I'm going to be a happy camper here. So let's have a look at the mech base and our Centurion. Let's refit him. So what would we do? We have a, another heat sink here which we could just pull this heat sink out I think. Right? Because we don't need it. 
for the engine. So let's go to equipment. Let's put a heatsink cooling pod in. It's going to give us a little bit more. Yeah, well, that no, didn't change much, did it? Minus 4% weapon heat. But you know what? Eventually, over time, it'll start to add up. Let's put this in the head so we don't lose it unless we get our head blown off. In which case, we have far more thing, far worse things to worry about. Got a Fusion Core 260 here still, which we could sell if we had to. But I want to hold on to it, I think, just in case we lose a Fusion Core. Well, at least we'll have one to put back in. Oops, let's cancel this. Sorry, we want to confirm this one day. And I think that's it. So we will be back up and running for another episode. And oh, what do we got here? Let's trade with the local farmers, increasing our morale. So the one thing I learned, actually, let's have a look. So we have some cash right now. Let's go to our ship upgrades. Um, I haven't been normally buying a lot of morale upgrades. And I learned just by clicking on this the other day that you can get plus one tech points by in just installing the lounge. Now, it's plus two morale too, which is actually a little bit better bonus because, I mean, you can get, you know, oh, this is only 100,000 for improved autom automation. I guess we get improved automation with the, the structure upgrade. So we're going to do that, I think, first. We've got the cash. This is what, 15 days? How long is it to install a recreation? 10 days. And this one's more. So let's go with the one that costs more first because we have the money on us. So let's purchase this one first. Because we'll get getting 100,000 is going to be relatively easy. Yeah, and then, you know, two more days to the Phoenix Hawk comes back. So next episode, we'll probably run another mission on this planet. There's still several one and half skull missions on this planet. Um, I don't want to go to one and a half just quite yet. The fact that we um, in encountered a catapult, although it was an older catapult, in a single skull mission uh, has me concerned about going to one and a half. Um, I don't feel confident right yet with the lance that we have. I need to work on that Centurion a little more. Um, I'd like to make them more heat efficient, but I gotta find a way to really incorporate those, the SRM or the uh, missile points on them. I'd like to be able to jam that Thunderbolt in there, but in order to do that, it would be I would be really sacrificing that AC. And that auto cannon right now is actually pretty good where it is with the extra bonus to hit on the uh, arm weapon now. Um, I'm very hesitant to take that off. It would literally be like I would gain a bit of weight. Here's the thing. I would gain a bit of weight if I removed it and just put in the Thunderbolt. The Thunderbolt's 9 tons and this is 12. I'd have to leave the AC-10 ammo where it is because the Thunderbolt uses AC-10 ammo. So I would gain, I'd have 3 tons left over. Now the Thunderbolt 17 heat, so I'd have to at least use two of those tons for heat sinks, so I could put three heat sinks in. But am I really gaining anything? This thing gets a bonus to hit because it's in the arm, right? And the weapon mounts plus two accuracy. Um, so it's even more accurate. And I know the Thunderbolt's plus one accuracy, but it's going to be in the torso, so it's not getting a bonus for being in an arm. So really, it's not that much of a difference. And I'd be putting all my eggs in one basket. So if I lost my torso, I'd have nothing, right? So that's the other thing. So I'd like to maybe focus on SRMs for this one, make it more of a close range build. And if we can get some better gear in here, um, I'd like to drop, like this is a five tonner. If I can find two, S two more SRM fours, triple pluses, I can drop two more of those in with another ton of ammo um, and maybe go that route but we'll see where it goes. But anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. Like it, please drop a like. And if you haven't subscribed, please feel, feel free to subscribe. Please feel free to comment. Um, I always enjoy comments. Um, and yeah, so until next time, I'll see you all later.